Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel CS Pictorial. This video is about an important aspect of Boolean algebra, the self-dual Boolean functions. Various topics related to Boolean algebra are already covered in our channel. Kindly check the links given in the description. Let us go in an order to understand what actually a self-dual Boolean function means. First, let us know what is a Boolean expression, then what is the complement of a Boolean expression and dual of a Boolean expression. Then we will try to understand the self-duality principle with some solved examples. Finally, a small quiz time to recall the concept. Please watch this video until the end for a better understanding. What is a Boolean expression? As we have seen in many of our previous videos, a Boolean expression is a logical statement that can either be true or false. These are some examples of Boolean expressions. Complement of a Boolean expression. The complement of a Boolean expression is the negation of the variables with the replacement of ands with ors and vice versa. This is a Boolean expression f. Now, we will try to find the complement of this expression as f bar. To find the complement of a Boolean expression, all you have to do is go through the expression and replace each item with its complement. Here, a becomes a bar. The AND operation becomes OR, that is plus, B becomes B bar, again product becomes OR operation, B bar becomes B, plus C becomes C bar, plus becomes dot, A becomes A bar, plus C becomes C bar. This is the complement of the given Boolean expression. This is another example. The complement F bar is derived the same way as in the previous example. Replace each item with its complement. So, the complement of the given Boolean expression becomes F bar equal to A bar B bar plus C bar D bar. Dual of a Boolean expression. The dual of a Boolean function is derived by replacing ands with ors and vice versa. Switching identity elements zeros to ones and vice versa. If this is a Boolean expression f, its dual f dual is derived by replacing ands with ors and vice versa. Always remember, for duality, the variables or literals will remain as such. You should never change the variables to find the dual of a Boolean function. This is the major difference between the complement and the dual of a Boolean function. This is another example. The expression is given as f equal to b bar plus c into a. The dual is derived as f dual equal to b bar dot c plus a. Remember, for duality, replace only the ands with ors and vice versa. The variables will remain as such. Now comes the actual concept of this video, the self-duality principle. There are two cases. In the first case, the Boolean function is given as an expression in terms of variables or literals. And in the second case, the Boolean function is given in terms of min terms as summation 0, 1, 6, etc. or max terms as pi, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Let us understand these two cases one by one. If the Boolean function is given in terms of variables or literals, the self-duality principle states that the function is said to be self-dual if and only if its dual is equivalent to the given function. Sounds vague? It's so simple. We will get it clear with an example. If this is a Boolean function given in terms of variables as f of x, y, z equal to x, y plus y, z plus z, x. To determine whether it is self-dual or not, we will have to first define the dual of this function. So, f dual of x, y, z is written as x plus y into y plus z into z plus x. Remember, only replace ands with ors and vice versa. The variables or literals remain as such. Now, some simplification steps here. We finally get the simplified expression of f dual as xy plus zx plus yz, which is again the same as the given expression. Thereby, we could conclude that the given Boolean function f of xyz is a self-dual function. In the second case, if the Boolean function is given in terms of min terms or max terms, the self-duality principle states that the function is said to be self-dual if it satisfies two conditions. The given function should be a neutral function 
and the function should not contain two mutually exclusive terms. Now the question arises, what does a neutral function mean and what does mutually exclusive term mean? We will get these two terms clear with examples. The first condition of self-duality is that the Boolean function should be a neutral function. Let us take this example. f of a, b, c equal to summation 0, 1, 6, 7. Here 0, 1, 6 and 7 are the main terms. So this function has four main terms which means that the terms not present here are pi of 2, 3, 4, 5 which are four max terms. Neutral function must contain exactly 2 power n minus 1 min terms and max terms and also the number of min terms must be equal to the number of max terms. Since this is a boolean function with three variables, 2 power n minus 1 will be equal to 2 power 3 minus 1 that is 2 power 2 which means 4 min terms and 4 max terms. Here the given function satisfies this condition by having exactly 4 min terms and 4 max terms. So this is a neutral function. The next condition is that mutually exclusive terms are not allowed in self-dual function. Two mutually exclusive terms are nothing but the complement of each other. Let us consider this three variable truth table. Complement of a bar b bar c that is min term 0 is a b c that is 7. So 0 and 7 are mutually exclusive to each other. Similarly, complement of a bar b bar c that is the min term 1 is a b c bar that is 6. So 1 and 6 are mutually exclusive to each other. Complement of a bar b c bar that is the min term 2 is a b bar c that is 5. So 2 and 5 are mutually exclusive to each other. Again, complement of a bar b c that is the min term 3 is a b bar c bar that is 4. So 3 and 4 are mutually exclusive to each other. The self-duality principle states that terms inside these mutually exclusive pairs cannot appear together in the given Boolean function. Let's check out some solved examples. In this example, we need to find whether the given function is self-real. Here, the Boolean function is given in terms of variables or literals. So, it comes under our first case where the function is said to be self-real if and only if its dual is equivalent to the given function. Thereby, we first need to find the dual of this Boolean function. f dual is derived by replacing ands with ors and vice versa. And remember, for duality, the variables or literals will remain and such. F dual of A, B, C is written as A plus B into B plus C into C plus A. Now simplify this expression. Multiply each term with every other term. Apply the Boolean laws A dot A equal to A and A plus A equal to A and cancel out the recurrent terms. Check our previous videos about Boolean laws for better understanding. Now AB into C plus 1 becomes AB according to the law A plus 1 equal to 1. And finally the expression becomes F dual equal to AB plus AC plus BC which is the same as the given expression F. So we could conclude that the given expression is a self dual function. Here we need to find which of the given functions are self-dual functions. Four functions are given and the options are given to decide which are self-dual. The Boolean functions are given in terms of main terms. So it comes under our second case where the function is said to be self-dual if and only if it satisfies two conditions. The first condition is that the function should be a neutral function. The second condition is that the function should not contain mutually exclusive terms. We have already understood what a neutral function means. A neutral function must contain exactly 2 power n minus 1 min terms and max terms. Since the given function involves three variables, number of min terms should be 2 power 3 minus 1 which is equal to 4. The first function f of a, b, c equal to summation 0, 2, 3 has only three min terms. So it is not a neutral function. This function has four min terms. So it is a neutral function. Third function is also a neutral function and again this function is also neutral. Thereby we check only the second, third and the fourth functions to the next step to check the condition too.
These are the functions taken to the second step. Here we need to check which function does not include mutually exclusive terms. We have already understood what mutually exclusive terms mean. These are the mutually exclusive pairs. Terms inside these pairs cannot appear together in the given Boolean function. The function f of a, b, c equal to summation 0, 1, 6, 7 has the terms 0 and 7 together. So it gets rejected in this step. The remaining two functions don't include mutually exclusive terms. Thereby the third and the fourth function satisfy both the conditions. Now we could conclude that the functions 3 and 4 are self-dual functions. The answer is option C, only 3 and 4. An interesting fact is that self-duality is closed under complement, which means if a function is self-dual, then its complement will also be a self-dual function. For example, if we know that a function f of a, b, c equal to summation 0, 1, 2, 4 is self-dual, then its complement which is formed by picking out the terms not present in the given function, that is f of a, b, c equal to summation 3, 5, 6, 7 is also a self-dual function. This is an additional pinch of information which you could expect in competitive exams. The number of self-dual functions possible with n variables is 2 power, 2 power n minus 1. For example, total number of self-duals of a function which has 3 variables x, y and z will be equal to 2 power, 2 power 3 minus 1 which is equal to 2 power, 2 power 2 which is equal to 2 power 4 which will be equal to 16. You could do this for any number of variables. A small quiz time to recollect what you understood in this entire video. Please comment your answers for our encouragement. Okay then, it's done for today. Hope this video would have helped you understand this concept in a simple way. Kindly encourage us by giving a like to this video and by commenting your answers. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. Hit the bell icon for sure. Thank you for watching.